meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. All right, 518, excuse me, on our first day of June. Hello, meteorological summer that starts today. Of course, the official astronomical kickoff to summer doesn't come our way until that summer solstice. This year is on a Sunday, the 20th at 931 p.m. As we look at our June at a glance, our high temperature range, typically we start the month around 76, 77 degrees for those average high temperatures, and we wrap up the month with highs at 87. It is a very dry month. On average, we see about two thirds of an inch of precipitation. By the way, do you remember last year? Over three inches of rain fell in the month of June here in Boise. We had a record setting day with nearly an inch and a quarter of rain in one day. So it was a soggy June last year. We will not start off soggy, very dry for the first week of this new month. And our full moon for the month is our strawberry moon coming our way four days after that solstice on the 24th. And here's how we're kicking things off. This is the big headline this week. We already have have an excessive heat watch that has been issued by the National Weather Service for the Treasure Valley and the Western Magic Valley. Now this is not until Thursday, but still tomorrow and today will be scorching, but we'll see those temperatures continue to climb through Thursday. The heat reaches its peak that day and then starts backing off from Friday into the weekend. And it's not just southwest Idaho across the west from Washington through Oregon down into California. We have heat advisories and excessive heat warnings as this big dominant ridge of high pressure continues to boost those temperatures. We're talking the possibility of heat related illnesses very high. This is unusual, not out of the question and not completely unheard of to see triple digit temperatures this early in the year, but still it is unusual. So all of those late or midsummer time warnings come to bear over the next couple of days. So low 90s in the Treasure Valley today, upper 90s tomorrow. But again, it's Thursday. We are really watching. We could tie or set a couple of records tomorrow. Boise may tie that record high of 97. Look at our Thursday, though. Triple digits for the Treasure Valley, even in McCall. I'm forecasting 89 degrees. That would shatter the old record of 85 for McCall set back in 1986. So you won't really beat the heat in the mountains necessarily. Still, it will be a little more bearable. And then on Friday into the weekend, again, we start seeing cooler air working its way in. Friday will still be toasty. The weekend looks much better. So as far as your Tuesday goes, 95 for Ontario, a little less scorching out towards Nampa, Caldwell, Cuna, and Boise with that high of 91. But still, it will be hot no matter where you're hanging out on this Tuesday. 86 for Idaho City today. There's that 81 from McCall, 82 in Cascade Council pushing 90 with plenty of sunshine overhead, maybe a few clouds drifting through from time to time, which will offer some relief from the sunshine. That's good news. Highs around 80 for Stanley and Sun Valley, 83 in Fairfield today in the Magic Valley, well into the 80s this afternoon, 85 for Twin Falls with barely any wind and lots of sunshine. So blazing sunshine continues for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's that heat triple digits on Thursday, still scorching Friday. Saturday will be warm. Don't get me wrong but some wind comes in ahead of a drop in temperatures back into the 70s by Sunday.